Another weekend sweep for the Western Michigan hockey team. Hosting defending NCHC regular season champion St. Cloud at Lawson Ice Arena last Friday and Saturday. The Broncos got six goals from six different skaters on Friday, including defenseman Jared Kucherik's first career goal in a 6-2 win. Then on Saturday, Mike Joyo scored twice as the Broncos tallied three times on the power play in another 6-2 victory over St. Cloud. I'm Robin Hook. Coming up, Andy Murray joins me for all the highlights on Bronco Review after this timeout. Bronco Review is presented by Greenleaf Trust. Financial security from generation to generation. Trust is in their name for a reason. They've earned it. And by Shupan. They know metal and plastic inside and out, creating a better environment through recycling. At Arbor, we're a cooperative financial institution who has been proudly growing across the mitten. Our purpose is to help members achieve their dreams through innovative financial solutions. I am Arbor. I am Arbor. I am Arbor Financial Credit Union. And I am here to serve you. And I am here to serve you. This new Little Caesars Thin Crust Pizza is so loaded with pepperoni and cheese, I don't believe there is any thin crust. Pepperoni, 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 cheese, 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 crust. Found it! There is a crispy crust under all that pepperoni. Get a Little Caesars Large Extra Most Bestest Thin Crust Pizza with extra cheese and the most pepperoni, all at the nation's best price of just $6.49. Pizza, pizza. When leading edge medical care is what you need, will you be able to find it? When you find the perfect doctor for you, will you be able to choose her? Can one company give you the expertise, the technology, the choices, the peace of mind that your coverage is gonna work the way you want it? Count on it. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. Confidence comes with every card. Hi, I'm Jim Vandenberg with Maple Hill Subaru. We're inside the all-new seven-passenger ascent from Subaru, which has the same DNA as the entire lineup of Subarus. You get the great fuel economy with the beauty of all-wheel drive to get you through that lake effect snow, the low center of gravity from the Boxer engine, along with the best crash avoidance system on the market today called EyeSight from Subaru. Come on out to Maple Hill Subaru and drive these amazing vehicles. Maple Hill Subaru, for a journey like no other. In 1916, Warren Miller chose Auto Owners Insurance. Later, his son made the same choice, as did his grandson. And today, his great-granddaughter did the same. As we reflect on where we've been, we're grateful to our independent agents and to those who put their trust in us, and to the generations who will. Auto Owners Insurance. Nulty Insurance is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. Courtnall moves it ahead of Van Oss over the line. Jared Kucherik and that goal, he scores! Jared Kucherik, 2 nothing Western Michigan. Sophomore Jared Kucherik with his first career goal. He had an outstanding game on Friday night as Western Michigan. Skated to a 6-2 win in the opener against St. Cloud, and Andy, a big win at home over a really good hockey team. It certainly was, and uh, you know, you take a look at our record against St. Cloud in recent years, it hasn't been very good. So to beat them, to get off to a great start like we did in the hockey game, uh, inspired our team for the weekend. Let's go to Lawson Ice Arena for first period highlights on Friday as the Broncos working on a two-game winning streak, trying to extend that after sweeping Colorado College the previous weekend. Uh, the uh, skating team was out there performing, and here comes St. Cloud. They won the regular season title a year ago. I, I didn't see that, but I see that the St. Cloud skaters had the same uniform color <laughs> as St. Cloud, so I don't know if that's allowed. But, no, we came out to, to, to an energetic crowd, and I got off to a great start in the hockey game. Got an early lead, and that certainly paid dividends. The Lunatics were out in force, and uh, if you haven't been to a Bronco hockey game, you got that pregame light show, which is pretty cool that the fans are really starting to enjoy. And now here we go to work and the Broncos in front of the net against St. Cloud trying to get stuff done. They've got an excellent goaltender in well, Rennick. Rennick is an outstanding goaltender. Obviously, they finished first in the regular season. And there we've, we've got a big goal to get off to a start. Mikey Joyo one-timed that puck and, and Paul Washi had a stick on it in front of the net. 
Mike Joyle had his best weekend as a Bronco. I mean, he assisted on Friday, had two goals on Saturday. Yeah, just great to see. Such a quality person to see him get rewarded like that. And there we've got Jared Kacharik's first game as a college a hockey player, and he's a sophomore. I took it, I took that one in to end and lifted it over the goaltender just like he'd done it a number of times, but great for Jared. His first career goal, and uh, he took several good shots after that. Now, your captain driving to the net. Guys that you were looking to start scoring are doing it. No, certainly, and Hubie Gang is that motor that we need uh, putting the puck in the back of the net for us. He leads us, and to see him going like that is, is great to see. That put him at the 100 career point mark. That's tremendous. I mean, Getting 100 points in college hockey, Robin, is real tough, and it means that you've played pretty consistent. You've also been healthy for most of the, your career as well, and that's the case with him. This is our captain who took a game misconduct penalty after he had scored their first goal, and so they were without their leader the rest of this game. And, and he's a good player, Aiken. Aiken, he's, uh, he's a guy that leads them, and to have him lead the ice certainly didn't hurt our, our case. All right, so the Broncos on a new sheet of ice get ready for the second period. There's the radio crew getting ready and uh, the PA guy uh, doing his uh, normal looks, outstanding job. Looks like you guys have snacks up there oh, as yeah, well we do, there we too. Do, we do, we do. We don't go hungry. And uh, here we go. Broncos putting more pressure on the net. Andy, another 40-shot night by the Broncos. We were, you know, we've been shooting the puck a lot. We've been emphasizing that. And there we've got a, a goal by... Wade Allison just turning that corner, and he got a similar goal on the second night as well here too. But again, we did have great pressure in there, and that our guys were, you know, staying in front. And as you mentioned, guys that are uh, were expecting to finish for us did the finishing. Wade's been hot the last couple of weeks. That was his fourth goal of the season after he went uh, with just one empty net goal for the first half. Well, and you know, this is the best hockey Wade's played in two years, and it's simply a matter of him being healthy and being able to play the way that. He wants to and we need him to. All right, the Broncos again applying the pressure and another 40-shot night, as we mentioned. That's become routine for you guys. Well, and, you know, we had a number of those, Robin, where we couldn't find the back of the net. We were getting the shot volume. We were outchancing our opponents. But, uh, you know, we found the back of the net. And, you know, we're going to be faced with a stiff challenge this weekend. But we just need to continue to get the puck to the net. It wasn't just the goal scorers getting it done. Your goaltender was outstanding. In fact, he was the NCHC Goalie of the Week, Brandon Bussey. Yeah, you know, and, and again, St. Cloud is a team that uh, can generate offense, and he was there for us when we needed him. All right, uh, tuned into the Bronco Radio Network right there, that little guy. He's got his headphones on. Yeah, and you know, listening to you and also making sure because of the volume that we have in our <laughs> building there that his ears are protected, that's, that's a good step by his parents. All right, St. Cloud trying to get back in the game, but the Broncos denying him and uh, just applying all the pressure on uh, Rennick. Well, we had a lot of puck possession on the weekend, and when you've got the puck, you're really negating the other team's offense as well. So, made good decisions with it, and uh, you know we were certainly pleased with that aspect. Of the, the other game. thing, look at the Broncos all in front of the crease, trying to screen the goaltender, get some tips. Uh, that's a good way to score a lot of goals. Hockey's pretty simple, you know, like you get to the, get pucks in net and get bodies there, and you got a chance to be successful. All right here, you come again down the wing, trying to add to the lead. How about that move? Uh, you know, Wade's got a lot of things in his, in his bag there. Obviously, he's got the, the goal, the ability to lift that puck and try to slap it in from behind the goal there. And there's Ronnie Adderd's uh, empty net goal. And 200 feet. Wonder, yeah, you know, as a coach, you kind of wonder about that. Like, if he, if he ices it, the faceoff's coming back and you're in, the score's close, he scores, and you're kind of going, don't do that, don't do that great play. But uh, it worked out for us. And the Broncos played to the final horn, and you got to go with three seconds to go from Brett Van Oss. Yeah, I mean, Brett, it was great to see him score. He's had some excellent games recently, and for him to get rewarded there was great. So the Broncos take it 6-2. to two. We'll come back and look at Saturday's highlights. Another victorious night for the Broncos. Now this time out on Bronco Review. Are you considering home improvements? You should consider BlackBerry. BlackBerry has completed several home improvement projects in our neighborhood, so when we were ready for 20 new replacement windows, we called BlackBerry. They completed the project on time and their workmanship was outstanding. Our friends are amazed and we love the transformation of our home both inside and out with our new windows from BlackBerry Home Improvement Specialists. Call today or go to BlackBerrySystems.com. At Galesburg Ford, we stand behind our football teams. I like the Honolulu blue and silver. I'm a fan of the purple and gold. Western's brown and gold, all the way. 
We may cheer for different teams, but our team here at Galesburg Ford has one goal. And that's great customer satisfaction as we find you a new car, truck, or SUV. So whether it's a brand new Ford or a certified used vehicle, score your next car at Galesburg Ford. Watch out! Galesburg Ford! Watch you for your next car! All athletes strive to perform at their peak. And meeting that goal means putting in extra hours on the trail, in the gym, or on the court. It also means refueling after a tough workout. Chocolate milk has carbohydrates and protein to rebuild muscles, plus electrolytes to replenish your body. And with no additives, chocolate milk is nature's sports drink. So after your next training session, reach for the natural choice to help you meet your performance goals. Chocolate milk, the unofficial recovery beverage of athletes everywhere. The numbers don't lie. At Arbor Financial Credit Union, our numbers work for you. Numbers like zero, the amount you'll pay in checking fees and at Arbor or co-op ATMs. Then there's $200, the average savings on mortgage closing costs when our members use their credit union. You should probably know about five, the percentage lower your credit card rate could be compared to a bank. Take advantage of all our numbers. Not a member? Start saving today. Arbor Financial, bank here, grow here. Dear Dr. Johnson, I'm writing this letter to thank you for believing in a shy, quiet high school graduate and showing me the importance of believing in myself. You inspired me to pursue an internship in Seattle, a huge step that I never would have considered when I first arrived. Through countless meetings over four years, my world has grown bigger and ambitions bolder. From teaching kids to changing the face of education. Unforgettable bonds, unbreakable spirit, Western Michigan. There's a breakaway for Dawson, he shifts and scores! Dawson, DP, top 4-1, Western Michigan. Classic Dawson Di Pietro right there, passing the puck through the D to himself, and he scored on the breakaway. Andy, uh, one of your six goals in Saturday night's 6-2 win. Well, that was a situation where Dawson was actually on the ice at the end of a penalty kill, which doesn't normally happen, but he, he got out there, and, and he's got so much speed that he's able to pull away and, and gets a big goal for us. And the Broncos go on to win this one 6-2. There's the pregame light show we're talking about, which is really cool. Uh, the fans using their phones and now you're facing a really determined St. Cloud team. This is one of the premier teams in college hockey, the regular season champ last year. You knew they were going to come after you in game two. And, and they really did, Robin. I have to say that our start to this game was uh, not at the level that we wanted to have it. Uh, for us, uh, our power play was outstanding and, and we scored in the power play. So certainly uh, getting the power play goals and we did a great one-timer there uh, by Ronnie Adderd and Got us an early lead, and again, we didn't play as well as we wanted in that first period, but we took advantage of the power play, and they were trying to be a little more aggressive than they should have been and, and took some penalties, and we capitalized on it. Great to see Ronnie back out there after he missed a month of the season before Christmas. No question. I mean, he's a, he's a great young freshman. He's got that ability to pound the puck, and my, uh, my joy will feed him. And there we've got another power play opportunity as well. We were really around the net with the power play, generating chances, and and certainly coming up with some big goals. Mike Joyle's not the biggest guy, but man, can he shoot the puck, wham! Tremendous one-timer, and you know, when you've got the threat of Mikey Joyo on a direct plate from low to high, and then being able to go across with the one-timer from Ronnie Adder, really opens up things on the ice. Uh, first of two for Mike in this game. He had an outstanding weekend. Broncos are up two nothing, and now you're on a five on three here, Andy. Yeah, well, this is actually our, our five on four, I think, here. In, in, in this situation here, it's it's Wade that steps in from the side, and hopefully we can see this shot here and what a shot that one was. It was an unbelievable shot, and uh, so those back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back power play goals in the first period, the Broncos were on top three to nothing. Well, I thought it really took a little bit of the heart out of uh, St. Cloud as well there, too. And, we, you know, as I said, five on five, our game was not great early, but... You know, when you score in the power play, you know how special. And here's Dawson stealing the puck and just his pull away speed. It's, it's phenomenal. He can really go. This was right at the end of a penalty kill by the Broncos, and he takes it through the D and scores. And I'm sure he's going to remind me about that. Coach, get me out there for the penalty kill. All I <laughs> do is score for you. But, uh, you know, Dawson had a, had a real solid weekend as well. That put the Broncos on top 4-1 to one in the second period. Actually, late in the first period, up four to one, and uh, the Broncos will go on and win this six to two. Uh, another great effort. Maybe not your best game, but those 
power play goals early really made the difference. Yeah, well, and to be honest with you, I thought the third period was probably as good a hockey as we played all year, but we were not as sharp as we wanted to be in the, in the first two periods there, but came out in the third and, and really shut them down. And the key thing for us, and in a tough start to the game, Brandon Bussey was outstanding. And when you're getting that kind of goaltending, it, it gives you the opportunity to find your game. And obviously St. Cloud came in with an edge to their game, and, and we're the type of team that, that plays hard and physical. And there were a lot of scrums on the ice. In most cases, we did a good job of managing our emotions. A couple times, got took some penalties we had to avoid. But it was going to be a game where we were going to be going hard to the net, and they were going to try to prevent that. So another case right here. Again, they're, they're executing their physical side. Saturday night at Lawson Ice Arena, there were uh, Eight penalties to each team, so a total of 16 penalties in this particular game. And that's the way some of these Saturday night games get because um, you're banging on each other for, you know, six periods. Yeah, no, you kind of, they, they, everybody gets under your skin. And this was just a great play here. Rhett Kingston took the puck hard in the net from the corner. Mikey Joe was on his toes and jumped in and got his second goal. And you know, it's interesting with Mikey when he scores, as he did last year, he usually gets them in pairs. So. That was a good sign for us when we saw him get the first one. You're absolutely right. Uh, he scored back-to-back uh, -back like that a year ago, and he does it again in this game. And uh, that was a big goal because it puts you up by uh, a nice margin. Yeah. No, we, you know, they were still in the hockey game at that particular point, but that one kind of settled it for us. Play continuing here as the Broncos try and... Uh, Put this one away, and there's uh, Josh Passel scored a goal. Those are the kind of goals we were used to seeing out of him. Yeah, and, and I think we're going to see a lot more in the remaining games. He's such a quality young guy, and he's got that toe drag shot move, which he used in that particular play. And there's a group of Broncos that are pretty happy after getting a sweep and get the opportunity to go into our dressing room and, and sing the fight song, which is a good sign. 6-2 win on Friday, followed by a 6-2 win on Saturday, and the Broncos are firmly in the upper half of the NCHC standings. We'll talk about that next with Coach Murray after a timeout on Bronco Review. You trust Dunchy Body and Frame for all your collision repair work, but we offer so much more, like paintless dent repair, brakes and wheel alignment, perfect paint matching. Dunchy Body and Frame also works with all insurance companies to make sure your vehicle is restored to pre-accident condition. So for the personal service and high-quality workmanship, call Dunchy Body and Frame today at 375-2100. Dunchy, part of your community for the last 40 years. Hi, I'm Jim Vandenberg with Maple Hill Volkswagen. This is the Volkswagen Tiguan. It comes in both five and seven passenger models, and now it's joined by its big brother, the Atlas, which comes in a seven passenger and eight passenger model, completing the SUV lineup. All Volkswagens are backed by a six-year, 72,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty. Best in the business. These are German-engineered, value-priced, with the longest warranty in the industry. Maple Hill Volkswagen, for a journey like no other. Want more? More pep for your wallet? Open your eyes to a credit union. At Arbor Financial, we're here to help you get more from your money like earning up to 5% APY with a free Arbor Momentum checking account. Now that's more. Find out how much more you can earn by visiting an Arbor Financial branch or go to arborfcu.org. This new Little Caesars Thin Crust Pizza is so loaded with pepperoni and cheese, I don't believe there is any thin crust. Pepperoni, 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 cheese, 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 crust. Found it! There is a crispy crust under all that pepperoni. Get a Little Caesars large, extra most, bestest thin crust pizza with extra cheese and the most pepperoni, all at the nation's best price of just $6.49. Pizza, pizza. More devices, more apps, more streaming. Today, we need more speed than ever to stay connected. So we're making the best in-home Wi-Fi experience even better. We're giving our customers faster speeds and including them in our most popular plans at no additional cost. We've increased our speeds 17 times in 17 years. So you can keep streaming, sharing, and connecting like never before. Xfinity, the future of awesome. Stolen away by the Broncos. Here's Passel, walks in, waits to the slot with a shot, he scores! Josh Passel 
6-2 Western Michigan. Josh Passelt finding his scoring touch here the last few weeks. He had two goals in the second game at Duluth for you, Andy, and now he scores again, and uh, this is a great sign to see him coming on like we know he can score. Yeah, I mean, Josh had 16 goals for us on the regular season last year, and, and uh, he's got that capability, and he's working at his game. The puck hasn't been finding the net for him, but we're certainly excited that that offensive potential has been to open up now. And uh, offensive potential for your freshman defenseman, Ronnie Adder, who scored a goal in each of the weekend games. He was the rookie of the week in the NCHC, Andy. He, you know, he missed a lot of games early in the year, Robin. Got off to a good start first few games, then missed a number of games with a hand injury and is back in the lineup and is really finding the groove right now. I thought our power play since he's returned has been much more effective as well there too. And guy that had 60 points in the USHL last year as a defenseman, He's going to be a key fixture on our power play. Not only that, he was the player of the year, the most valuable player in the United States Hockey League last year before joining the Broncos. And another freshman who's had an outstanding first year for the Broncos is goaltender Brandon Bussey, 6'4", young man out of New York State, and he was the goalie of the week. Great for Brandon. I mean, he's a guy that developed uh, later as a goaltender, played his 20-year-old year, was kind of his first year of really playing on a consistent basis in junior hockey and had an unbelievable year in Muskegon has come in here and has impressed everybody. All right, now the Broncos go on the road. They'll travel to Omaha, take on a red-hot Omaha Maverick team. We'll look ahead when we wrap up Bronco Review after this timeout. What do you do when you discover something great? Well, you tell your friends and family about it, right? Well, that's exactly how Lake Michigan Credit Union became the largest credit union in Michigan with one of the highest checking account rates in the nation and guarantee low mortgage rates, word is spreading fast about Lake Michigan Credit Union. Earn more when you save, pay less when you borrow. Lake Michigan Credit Union, the best place for your money. When you need home improvements, you should call BlackBerry. Do you need a new roof? Give us a call. We're one of the area's most trusted and professional roofing contractors, having completed thousands of roofing jobs throughout West Michigan. Right now, you can save 50% off the installation of our new roofing, featuring the Owens Corning Duration Shingle that comes with a limited lifetime warranty for installation and materials. Call today or go to blackberrysystems.com. No matter what pops up during your day, Ascension Borgias makes it easy to get the care you need, anytime, from anywhere. Now you can see a doctor online, right from home, 24-7. Check in online for urgent and ER care, or even schedule a visit with a primary care doctor. You'll find it all at GetAscensionMichiganCare.com, with locations across West Michigan. At Galesburg Ford, we stand behind our football teams. I like the Honolulu Blue and Silver. I'm a fan of the purple and gold. Weston's brown and gold, all the way. We may cheer for different teams, but our team here at Galesburg Ford has one goal. And that's great customer satisfaction as we find you a new car, truck, or SUV. So whether it's a brand new Ford, or a certified used vehicle, score your next car at Galesburg Ford. Watch now! Galesburg Ford. Not too far for your next car. Want more? More house in less time? Open your eyes to a credit union. At Arbor Financial, we're here to help you get more from your money, like our no money down and no PMI mortgage specials, and a promise to meet your closing date, or we make your first payment. Now that's more house faster. Find out how much you can earn by visiting an Arbor Financial branch or go to arborfcu.org. Now open in Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo Avenue, south of 68. Allison knocks it down to the half wall, skates to the dot, takes the shot, he scores upstairs! Over the blocker, under the bar! 3 nothing Western Michigan, three power play goals for the Broncos, and Wade Allison has scored in three straight games. Wade Allison really finding his scoring touch here in the second half of his senior season, and that's a great sign, Andy. This guy is a proven goal scorer, and it's starting to come now. Well, I think it's a matter of him getting some regular games in, getting some conditioning at game pace and uh, being able to play that power forward 
position the way that he wants to play it. I think he didn't have his legs with him with the injuries uh, early in this season coming off the knee injury two years ago, but he's got his legs going right now and he's not playing with his hands alone. He's playing with his legs and his hands and that's a pretty deadly combination. It will make him a, an effective National Hockey League player as well. This guy was drafted in the second round by the Philadelphia Flyers and was off to a tremendous start to his college career, was the front runner for the Hobie Baker when he was a sophomore before he had that injury. Well, and I believe, Robin, when we're done playing here, uh, first couple of weeks of April this year, but after that point, he'll be in the Philadelphia Flyers lineup right after that. Uh, he's he's going to be a great pro and just so good for us to see him playing at this level because this is the real Wade Allison and he's helping our team and he's going to carry us here as we move along, but it's also going to help him adjust to NHL hockey right away. Well, the calendar getting ready to flip to February, and you get to February, you start doing a little standings watching, and the Broncos are firmly in the upper half of the NCHC standings, holding down fourth. But, Andy, you're just a point back of third place, Minnesota Duluth, and only three points back of second place, Denver. Well, uh, you know, the idea of firmly uh, doesn't always uh, settle for a coach because you're always worried about what's going on and that winning that next game and cause you lots of sleepless nights but you're right Robin our, our key thing is just going after each single game and then we'll see where we're at after that game but it's tight and you know Nebraska Omaha is chasing us right now and we're playing them this weekend so let's take care of business. And playing them at their arena Baxter Arena in Omaha Nebraska and they're tough at home they're tough anywhere but they're really tough at yeah home, Andy. we really like their team this year Robin they they kind of model us in terms of the way they play they play fast they play hard they've got some young energy players and they've got some solid veterans so a real formidable opponent and my coach Gavinette's got them playing really well yeah they're an outstanding team and they're red hot right now they're coming off a sweep themselves they are you know the weekend before that they swept Colorado College last weekend they split it at uh, Denver, or no, pardon me, got two ties at Denver, and then they split with North Dakota the weekend before that. So they've beaten some good teams. Good luck this weekend. Thanks, Robin. Next weekend, we'll talk basketball. The Bronco men hosting Central Michigan this weekend. We'll look back at that game with Coach Steve Hawkins on our next Bronco Review. Until then, for Coach Murray and our staff, I'm Robin Hook. Thanks for watching. See you next week on Bronco Review.